guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that cake. And the reason why I decided to draw the cake is my birthday. And I am waiting for your congratulations. And now let's start the tutorial. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to download an original I file with colors and my design you can do it on my Patreon page the link will be below that tutorial and now let's start to draw well hope your workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel let's take this color and let's take pen tool and let's start to draw the shape like this. Okay. Uh, now let's take curvature tool and move this side down. Now let's take direct selection tool, select these two points and hold and drag them to round the corners. Now let's take that pink, pink color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse like that. And now let's move it, make it a little bigger, rotate. Okay, and fix it a little, like that. Now we need to take warp tool and let's create the cream, like that. Okay, it's pretty easy. Now, let's uh, take smooth tool and let's smooth all shapes here, like that. Now let's take uh, that color light pink color and egg and ellipse tool and let's create the top of the cake with help of ellipse of the shape like this okay now let's add here point take add point tool and add point and move that point here with help of dark selection tool and do the same here okay now let's take uh, that color and ellipse tool and let's draw three ellipses, different sizes, like that. And now select the main shape of the cake and all these three shapes and take shape builder tool hold alt odd and delete unwanted parts now move the cream to the front and now let's take a dark brown color that one and egg and ellipse tool and draw some shapes like this 
to create more interesting view for our cake. Okay. It's ready. Now you can move these ellipses as you like. Like that, for example. And now let's uh, take that color and curvature tool and create here uh, the shape like this. It will be our highlight. Now let's take here uh, overlay and here 50. Now select the shape, object, path, offset path, minus 5, OK. And move new shape a little down and to the left. And here 30. Now let's take white color and curvature tool and draw the shape like this rotate move here it and change transparency to 20 okay that's great uh, now let's uh, take that color and ellipse tool and let's create the shadow below the cake send it to back now copy and paste that shape, make it bigger, take that color and send it back. Ok, let's play with the shadow. It's ready. Uh, now let's play with the cream. Copy and paste that part of the cream twice. One of the copies move to the left. Select both copies, Pathfinder, and minus front. And now let's take that color for the new shapes. And take now pen tool and draw some highlights with help of pen tool and white color. Okay, let's create here one more highlight and let's take a dark pink color and create some shapes with help of ellipse tool. Okay, now select that shape, twice copy and paste it. One of the shapes move to the right. Select select both copies, Pathfinder, minus front, and take white color. Now, we need to uh, create, take curvature tool and again white color and create here the shape like this. Uh, it will be our highlight and transparency 20. Now, let's select that shape, copy and paste it. Move here, right click, transform, reflect, vertical, OK. Make it smaller, rotate it. And now uh, again copy and paste that shape. Again transform, reflect, vertical, OK. And move here, make it smaller and rotate. Well, now we need to change colors uh, for the middle part. Delete here uh, these shapes and parts and create new shadow and change color to blue 
and chocolate. Okay, now copy and paste the shadow and group it. Now we need to select these two parts, unselect this one and send them to front. Now take the shadow, make it smaller and put it here, rotate, move here, smaller, okay. It will be the shadow here. Now let's uh, change the color here to uh, dark pink and here to uh, that one. Or you can take some uh, lighter pink color here. Okay, now let's play a little with the shadow. Okay, now let's select the top of the cake and group it. Okay, let's select and group it, sorry. And now copy and paste that shadow move here send that part to front and now let's fix the shadow Okay, now let's take that color and ellipse tool and let's create the cherry. Now copy and paste that shape, make it smaller and take lighter color and again copy and paste that shape, make it smaller and lighter color. Now let's fix here shapes like that. Take white color and draw some small ellipses. Group it. And now let's take direct selection tool and play with their points to create more unperfect uh, view. It will be more cuter here. Okay. Now let's um, move the chair here. Now make the copy and move here and now here. And now we need to create shadows below the cherry. So we need to copy and paste that shadow and play with it. So make it smaller and move it under uh, the cherry. Okay, now do the same for others cherries, make the shadow under the cherries. And here you need just make blue shadow. Okay, now let's create the candle. Let's take that color and rectangle tool, draw 
uh, the rectangle like that. Now let's take this color and um, again uh, rectangle tool, create that rectangle, rotate it, hold odd and make three copies. Okay, select all shapes and now take shape builder tool and delete unwanted parts. Now uh, let's take a uh, curvature tool and that color and draw the shape the shape like this. Uh, now select the candle and uh, the new shape, shape builder tool, hold odd and delete unwanted part and opacity uh, multiply. Uh, now let's take this color and ellipse tool and draw some uh, design elements like that. Okay, uh, now uh, let's select these two points and round them and round here these points, this point. Take this color and uh, that brush and draw here the shape like this and send it back. Um, now let's take uh, that color and pen tool and let's draw here their fire. Don't forget to delete stroke like me. We need only orange color. Okay, now let's take a smooth tool and fix it. Uh, now I'm going to make it bigger, rotate, move here, copy and paste twice that shape, one of the copy a little up, select both copies, pathfinder minus front and take that dark orange color. Now copy and paste the fire, make it uh, smaller, a little up, rotate it. Take a white color and opacity overlay, or you can take uh, that orange color. And now let's select white color and add some small ellipses here. Uh, you can make them a little bigger. Now change uh, transparency for them to. 50 or 30 or 20 as you like, make it a little, them a little bigger. And now we need to send back uh, the fire, select it and send it back uh, again. Ah, I know, uh, select the cand candle and change here. To normal mode. Okay, now it's great, it's my mistake. Uh, and now let's uh, select uh, that part of the candle and go to group it and go to effect, warp and bulge. And we need vertical minus 70% and minus 29% here. And OK. Object expand appearance. Select uh, the candle and ch change here mm, the size to 0 0.7 and group it, rotate it, move here, 
And the last one, we need to take that color and brush tool. And let's take this one and draw here the shape like this to create more realistic view. And now, guys, let's take uh, the color of the background and rectangle tool and create the background and send it back. Well, guys, the cake is ready. That's all for today, guys. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.